Hello folks, it's T minus one hour before Richard comes to pick me up um, for us to drive to Newcastle to uh, pick up the flight to go to Corfu. Um, I'm phenomenally excited, bags are packed. Um, I'm having a weird thing with a contact lens and I've watched most of series four of Buffy. So um, yeah, standard night before I go on holiday. arrive Newcastle Airport next airport will hopefully be a lot sunnier say good morning Richard, morning, Richard. hello I don't know how well you can hear me uh, but this is just a little review so far of Newcastle Airport it has been fantastic uh, we sailed through boarding um, sorry checking in our bags we sailed through security and we sailed our way straight to the bar uh, where Richard's off getting us a gin. Uh, so, brilliant start so far. Really impressed with Newcastle Airport. Um, it's really busy, and yet the, I've not noticed any drop-in service. There's loads of flights due to leave. Um, and there's, like, TVs everywhere. I'm finding it so far a lot easier to navigate the Manchester Airport. Uh, so this is brilliant. So, yeah, so far, big fat thumbs up for Newcastle Airport. Next stop, airplane. So we're just about to board uh, Morella Explorer. So we're in the queue here waiting and I've got my um, travel insurance and my boarding pass and my passport, uh, which is what they've asked for us to have ready. Uh, it's been dead quick coming from the airport. Um, we've literally jumped straight on a bus, drove through Corfu, um, and now we're gonna board with the lovely Morella people. So we're all checked in. We have uh, got our boarding passes and behind me, I am heading towards the Morella Explorer. So we're walking towards the boat now. I'm uh, gonna get on, do our mustard drill, um, and then get our cruise cars, check out the cabin. <laughs> we are on the ship. I have set foot on the ship. I brought a vagabond with me. And we're on the ship. So we are literally embarking now. I've got to scan my boarding pass, so I've got to go. So we've come for our first drink of the cruise. We have come into the Squid and Anchor, which is like the pub type location. Uh, behind me, they are just about to start some trivia. Um, and there's quite a few people in ready to, to quiz. There's a gin and whiskey bar. Um, over in that corner, which I think Richard now will probably be spending some time at. And in a moment, I will show you a picture of our first cruise cocktail. Okay, so we are still waiting for our cases to be delivered. So we've decided we're going to go for a wander into Corfu, get a little bit of Greek cuisine. And there she is behind me, looking absolutely stunning, Morella Explorer. Absolutely loving it. And here is the uh, beautiful, beautiful coastline of Corfu. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just go and grab a little bit of tapas, a little bit of meze. Um, just waiting for my actual clothes to be delivered because this is a bit big. It's not the best outfit, but it'll do. It'll do for now. Uh, oh, I'm in Greece, I'm so happy. Wow. 
smoky margaritas. See? Yep. Hang on. Mm. Wow. Amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, folks, so we are end of day one. I have had many smoky margaritas and a bit of a Bailey's and then burgers and stuff at the uh, marketplace afterwards, which was brilliant. It's open to like one o'clock and you can have uh, burgers and chips and fish fingers and anything you might fancy snacky wise. Anyway, so it's the end of our first day. We've not quite sailed away yet. Um, I'm gonna try and get some sleep for sea day tomorrow. Uh, so we're gonna get some sea and stuff. Uh, so I will see you then. Well, a very good morning. Um, this is our day one <coughs> on the ship. <coughs> Sorry, I drank a lot last night. This is day one on the ship. And it's sea day. And we're in the middle of the sea. Uh, which, <laughs> I don't know why this is striking me as weird, but it does. Um, so I am on deck 14, which is like the tippity toppest bit where people who don't work here are allowed to go and uh, yeah I don't know why it's just struck me as weird um, but I'm just having a bit of a walk because Rich is still asleep um, yeah maybe I try not to look at it too much because it might not be sick I'm not sure um, but yeah so this is sort of my first impressions of being at sea it's a bit weird well this is the Indio indigo bar where we were last night and um where we had the smoking margarita cocktails during the day i think it's a really great observation place um if you were just going to sort of sit and look at the scene but you didn't want to be outside <clears throat> so take you around here and you've got these massive windows where you can sort of look out upon the world as twer as it's moving by um, and somebody said to me that it's uh it feels like you're walking too fast and uh, yeah that's it's a weird sensation but yeah as i'm walking and looking at the sea it feels like i'm moving much faster than i am uh, but yeah just wanted to very quickly show you the indigo bar and this is the sort of nightclub-y type area where i believe there are silent discos and last night there was sort of an 80s cheesy party disco thing going on uh, it's lovely in here. This is also where the casino is, but I don't dare go in because once I start, I'll be bankrupt. Um, we are in um, 50, latitude 53, coming down to the main dining room for breakfast. I am having a full English breakfast with scrambled eggs and some coffee and some orange juice. And Richard is also having a full breakfast. And yeah, very excited to start our sea day uh, with some lovely food. We have been sat in the sun. We've watched a cocktail and sushi making demonstration. And Richard's gone for a quick shower. Um, so I'm just across his view. It's amazing. I know I keep saying that, but this is a whole new experience for me and it's incredible. Um, so I'm gonna go and have a quick look around the spa and I've already had two gins so there may be more gins in my future my colour is looking good, I'm happy and uh, I've put a request in for a little bit of Inner Circle so if he plays it, I might have a dance We have come for dinner in the marketplace on our first day and I'm just having a real mishmash of like cheese and pie and things but our view, I've got to show you, it's amazing That is the view whilst we eat our dinner and also that is the Richard the look of the sea into the squid and anchor. Richard's found himself a darts competition. Uh, so he's gonna do that and I am gonna have um, uh, a fancy gin because premium package. Um, I've also got Richard a fancy whiskey. Um, so yes, we're drinking in moderation people, in moderation, but we are drinking.
Sorry, good evening, folks. We are in Surf and Turf. Uh, we have just had our starter arrive, which is very exciting, which is that that I just showed you. Um, so more later when there is more food. So we're coming to the end of our meal here at Surf and Turf and oh, it's been amazing. Um, the actual food is great, the lobster, macaroni, and I don't really normally like lobster. Um, and then I'm gonna finish off with this. Look at that. Um, and I am very briefly gonna show you what Richard is eating because it's a chocolate brownie Sunday thing. Look at him and his food. It's good, sh good stuff, I nearly swore but that's only because of the 50,000 cocktails I've had today. So, and this is gonna be me signing off unless anything exciting happens, but it might not do apart from me exploding with food. Good morning, uh, we are just sailing into uh, Slovenia and I'm just finishing my breakfast which today is pineapple and then I had some pancakes that I wasn't really keen on uh, but that's only because Richard makes really good pancakes. Uh, so we're doing this beautiful sail in here, I don't think you can see it, let me try and... There we go, that's better. So we're, yeah, we're sailing, it's my first sailing. Um, so the coffee and the orange juice are plentiful and uh, we're about to go and uh, see some cakes. Well, we, we are just about, ease the eye candy, <laughs> we are just about to go into the Hoss Joiner caves. I'm probably going to say that wrong several times, uh, but we're not going to take selfies on the um, train. Even though Andy and Kirsty took selfies and nobody stopped them, but they're Andy and Kirsty, so you know, nobody's going to stop them. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you when we're down in the caves. So. Well, we've just come out of the uh, caves that I still can't pronounce despite about 15 people telling me how. Um, very beautiful, lovely, um, sort of water, very steep. Lots of going very up, very hills and down, very hills. And um, but lovely, the train ride was a lot of fun. Definitely not if you've got mobility issues um, or vertigo, uh, but beautiful, something completely unlike anything I've ever seen before. Uh, it's just a trip I would recommend if you come to Slovenia. So we're back on the ship now. It's coming to the Mediterranean for our lunch. Um, I am having some pizza, and even though it looks like pea soup, what it actually is is pesto uh, gnocchi with some parmesan. So very exciting, and Richard's gone to get wine for his beverage of the day, which I think is quite reasonable at two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just heading back to the cabin to pick up some stuff for a bit of sunbathing this afternoon. And um, so I'm just showing you our walk um, we are almost all the way at the back of the ship, which in ship talk is called all the way aft. Uh, so we're right near the back uh, in cabin 4164. So I'll take you down here and we'll show you around our little cabin, our little home from home for the week. So this is our cabin. Um, it, I mean, there's not a lot to show you. It's not massive, but it's an inside cabin. There I am. Hello. Uh, so that's my bed. Richard's bed, which is a lot neater than my bed. Today we had a little towel mouse, which is very cute. Um, but there's loads of storage, absolutely tons of drawers. Please don't mind the mess. Uh, there isn't a fridge, telly. Um, and then there's a bathroom. Um, I had a shower yesterday. And um, for those of you that are a little bit bigger and a bit worried about the size of shower, so much room in here, it's great. Uh, well impressed with that. Loads of room for your stuff to go. That's me again. And uh, yeah, like I said, not loads to show you. Um, loads of room, there's um, a safe behind the mirror. Um, and yeah, there's loads of space. Definitely not been short of a place to put things. Uh, so that is our cabin. That is my towel art, which I'm very happy with. And uh, I'm gonna get ready to go to the spa.
just been for a lovely thermal journey in the uh, Shanty Spa. It's currently £99 and you can come in all week um, and use the salt steam room, herbal steam. There's a horizon uh, sauna which looks out over the sea. Um, it's beautiful, it's lovely. And if you, if you get it on the first day, £99 is totally worth it because you can come, you've got unlimited use of it the entire time that you're here. Um, I will tell you a little bit more about it, but I don't want to do too much filming in the spa. So fully evolving into a little old lady, I am in the uh, Squid and Anchor, just about to do the tea time teaser quiz. So I've got my quiz sheet, and then I've got my bingo tickets for later. And then, uh, yeah, then I'm going to get changed and get some food. But yes, I'm officially an old lady, I love it. We've come to um, Latitude 53, which is the main dining room for our tea. And we have ordered some really fancy sounding food, so I should show you that. It's lovely here. We've got a bit of a view outside the window of the port. And we're due to set uh, sail shortly, so we should be able to watch the sail out from in here. Um, I've got ridiculous hiccups, but I need to get this filmed before they put somebody on the table behind me. So after a lovely meal in uh, Latitude 53, we've come to watch um, the stage show uh, Somebody to Love, performed by the uh, brilliant showcast. That's exciting. Uh, cocktail on arrival, quite like that. And Rich has got some fizz. Uh, so he's just off to get a bit of a, a bargain at Pandora and the show's due to start any minute. Good morning from Italy, from Ravenna. Um, we have just arrived, well, I say we've just arrived, we arrived at 8 o'clock this morning and then I went and had a massive breakfast while Richard stayed in bed. And um, so, just a few things you need to know about Ravenna. Um, it's not a tourist port. Um, so, when you get off the ship, unless you're going on a planned excursion, which I've got to be honest, we probably should have booked a planned excursion, but we didn't. So, you have to walk down to the um, the ferry port and there's a, a car and passenger ferry that'll take you over to the other side of the marina where there is a lovely little restaurant that we're in at the moment um where it, it's all seafood and uh, rich is very excited about it um and then there's just a few little tourist shops there's not a lot though so if you are coming to ravenna and the weather like today is not ideal it's a little bit rainy a little bit cloudy i would say ravenna is um a stop to book a trip on um, there were a couple of really good looking trips that unfortunately other people must have known that there was nothing to do in actual Ravenna so they've all gone and uh, booked them up. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a, a long segment but what I'm saying, what I would say is if you're coming to Ravenna as one of your cruise stops, book a trip um, because there's not a lot to do here um, unless it's nice weather and then you get the, uh, the pool deck to yourself. Oh yeah, just a little side note, I have found Italian Radler. So I didn't know this was a thing, um, so I'm very happy. I can sit here with my Italian mother. We are heading back over to uh, the Explorer. We've walked around Ravenna in the best vain hope of finding something interesting. Uh, no offence to Ravenna, but there is not an awful lot to do if you don't already live here. Um, so yeah, just to reinforce what I said before, if you have Ravenna as one of your stops, book a trip. Because if you just come over here, you will have a 15 minute walk down a road and back again, and then you'll go, let's go back to the ship and get a burger, which is exactly what we're doing. Tonight we are out in Vista, uh, which is the Italian restaurant. So the bread that we have been served is a little bit of focaccia, and we've got some olives and some um, balsamic vinegar and olive oil. And we're just looking at the menu now, which looks absolutely fantastic. We've also got the obligatory red wine that you have to have in an Italian restaurant. Um, and I think I'm gonna have, they've got this dish where they like coat it in cheese from the inside of a Parmesan wheel. So hopefully they'll let me film that and I'll show you. 
Um, and Richard is not a massive fan of Italian food, so he is doing me a solid by coming with me today. But I think, I think we might be converting him. This is my uh, pasta carbonara being expertly prepared by Zico. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Rich is also getting his food, but it's not as exciting as mine. So, this is carbonara with fresh parmesan taken directly from the bowl. Oh, Zico. It's gonna literally stir my pasta into the bowl. It's very exciting. Ever since I saw this on Andy and Kirsty, I've been looking forward to this happening. Look at that. Tomorrow you are only at Facebook. YouTube. Ah, YouTube. Yeah. Doing pasta. Ah, check it out. This looks incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you need. Yes. All the cheese. Right there. And you all know how much I like the cheese. Oh, it's good. It's very good looking. Richard's food, he's got a lovely salad. I've got some nice potatoes. And my cheesiest of cheese pasta. It's dessert time. I've got a chocolate and hazelnut cheesecake, an amaretto dream cocktail, and Richard has got a trio of tiramisu. Very exciting. These are blood and orange. Wrong. No, what the hell are they? Blood, blood and sand. sand. Wow, we've had quite a few drinks. Yeah. These are, <laughs> you are lying. Um, these are blood and sand, and we got them at a Perity Bar, which is over there. Now, it's the bar, hang on, let me turn you around. It's the bar that you go to before you go to the Serpentaire restaurant or Corolla or Umi Sushi. Uh, so the first time we came here was when we were waiting to go into Surf and Turf and we discovered that they had cocktails that other bars don't have. So that's why I'm going to show the menu here. Oh, and Richard. Hi! Um, but yeah, they've got cocktails here that other bars don't have, like Bramble, like Blood and Sand, like uh, Rusty Nails. So even if you're not going to eat in the speciality restaurants in Surf and Turf, Kurala or Umi Sushi, um, it's still worth nipping into a porridge and getting yourself, if you get nothing else, get a blood and sand, because these are damn good. Good morning, folks. You might have to uh, excuse the wild and windy look. Uh, we are sailing into Dubrovnik, and uh, I'm on the top, top, top deck, um, and it's very, very windy. But I want to say hello to the duck, who I've not said hello to yet. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and it's a great view from up here, down to the pool deck, and that's the big screen where put announcements on and they put cinema on at night and uh, it's lovely and quiet because it's only eight o'clock in the morning and um, so I just wanted to have a quick look at all of this uh, but more than anything I would have said over to the duck. Hi duck. Just have to show you this that Dave, the entertainment host, has done. That is a can of, of Coke that has Coke in it, just sort of precariously perched. It's weird, but I love it. So we are in Dubrovnik. Uh, we are in a uh, Liverpool bar uh, called The Cop, which is just on the harbour and it's beautiful. And they've got Radler, and as we all know, that's the key to, ca that's the key to my heart. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have a, a look around the rest of Dubrovnik, but we're well happy with this little place. I'll pop um, a link to it in the video description. Um, if you're a Liverpool fan, I think you should probably nip in. They've got a lot of really cool memorabilia and stuff hanging around. Um, Richard's happy, so, you know. Happy Richard. Happy life. We are sat in a little rooftop bar in... Uh, in Dubrovnik. We did attempt to, to go and climb around the walls. What we actually did was walk below the stairs, walk through somebody's back garden, and then turn around and walk back down. So we decided that we were going to just stop and have a beer. So we're in this other little rooftop bar. Um, I have no idea what it's called. But if I find out, I'll, uh, I'll tag it in the description. 
Um, so the plan now is sort of well, we've, we've got about another two hours before the bus, so we're going to keep having beer and keep wandering around Dubrovnik. It's very pretty, um, but I don't know what anything is, so I fear I should have researched Dubrovnik a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, next stop, further down this big hill. Good morning from Split. Uh, we have just got off the ship, it's about half past ten. And uh, I don't know, I've no idea what's in Split, so we're just going to go for a wander. But it is finally absolutely stunning weather. Um, we've had like bits of nice weather and bits of crappy weather, but it's given really good weather all day. So uh, tan me. I know it's not really PC, but um, you know, I'm old now. Absolutely beautiful here in uh, Split. Just come off the main street a little bit and it's like going back in time. It's absolutely stunning. Um, there is a big statue here. I'm sure, like the one in Dubrovnik, was an important statue. I have no idea what it's for because I am um, a, a, a Neanderthal. So, uh, yeah, this is beautiful weather. Clearest of blue skies. Lovely little square where I think we might go and have a cup of coffee and watch the world go by. No idea what this is, but I thought it looked cool, so I thought I'd film it for you guys. Well, good morning from um, a very beautiful sailing. I just wanted to come in and say hello. And by the way, I'm proper baggy eyed because it's six o'clock in the morning, but it was worth it to get up and see this absolutely stunning sailing. Um, heading into Yucatan, it's our last stop, sadly, of the cruise. Uh, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It's like being in Norway, um, but with predicted temperatures of 28 degrees. I am welcome to Montenegro. We have arrived in the beautiful port of Kator. Beautiful is the right word. Um, you'll have seen the footage of the sailing and now it's just lovely mountains and palm trees. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, we have had to wait for a tender boat to get over, which is um, basically you take a ticket, you go and sit in the Broadway show lounge and they'll call you when you're ready. So we waited about an hour. Um, so if you really want to see it, it's worth it. And then you get on a little boat and it's, um, maybe not good for people who've got limited mobility because it was a bit tricky getting on and off the little tender boat. Um, but yeah, just be prepared. Maybe go early if you're particularly bothered about having lots of time in port. Um, but yeah, definitely come here. This is stunning. There we are, it's better. Coming towards the end of our final day here, we are just sailing out of which is absolutely stunning. Uh, it would have been lovely to have maybe had a little bit more time to walk around here. If you look there, there'll be Richard posing for a photo uh, because you can't help but take photos of yourself in this place. It's beautiful. Uh, so make sure that you take the tender, even if you have to wait for an hour for the tender like we did, it was worth it. And the actual tender ride uh, was kind of like a little mini boat trip, uh, which is again, a little bit exciting. So we're going to get dressed uh, for dinner and pack. Now, to be fair, I've had a fantastic week, but it's ready. I'm ready to go home now. Um, I don't think I'd want a second week just yet, uh, but give me five minutes to get home and uh, I might change my mind. We are on the deck 11 in the Mediterranean bar, which for some reason we've never been to before. Um, serves beautiful sangria, it's very nice. Um, and this is a gorgeous view of the fjord type mountains in Montenegro. So yes, it is going to very soon be time to say goodbye to the Marilla Explorer. Um, we're gonna be heading into Corfu tomorrow and then our flight is at 12. Um, so apparently there's some uh, delays and waits and this, that kind of thing up in Corfu. Um, so I might have time to talk to you while I'm waiting for the flight. All right, so we're in a huge queue at the airport. 
waiting to go into departures. Um, I'm not that sad because I like to spend a bit more time in Greece, but uh, I'm going to sign off here because by the time we get into the airport, there'll be stuff to do. Well, we are home. Um, although you wouldn't know we were home from the absolutely beautiful weather that um, we are having. It's pretty much the same temperature as it was in Split, which is great. Uh, so I just want to do a little roundup and a little thank you uh, to a few people. Uh, first of all, the phenomenal staff on the ship. Uh, your bar staff, uh, Rene and Warren and Don and Jovi, who makes the best cocktails. And uh, the entertainment team, David, Luke, uh, Phil, Alicia, Lee, Scott, uh, the whole show team. I mean, every single staff member deserves a mention. They absolutely work their tails off to make sure you have a phenomenal time. Um, the only negatives about the entire cruise I've already mentioned were the fact that there wasn't an awful lot to do in Ravenna. Um, so just book a trip or stay on the ship if it's nice. And um, that the tendering process is quite long-winded but if you know that you're going to need to tender then just get down to the show lounge early um if you want to have lots of time in port um and do bear in mind that it's not necessarily for people with limited mobility because it is a little bit of a wobble getting on and off the ship that being said i wanted to make some very special thank yous to three uh, youtube channels that have made my first cruising experience a lot easier um, than it otherwise might have been first of all andy and kirsty who you will have heard as reference a couple of times um have been an absolute bible for how to do this as has emma cruises and uh, gary benbridge tips for travelers i'm going to link all their channels down below if you're looking to go on a cruise holiday you want to see what these guys have got on youtube um there is no information that they don't have and they're phenomenal anyway i have rattled on and unfortunately i have to get ready to go to the dentist and then back to work so until something else interesting happens in my life i am going to try and remain a funny kind of grown-up bye bye <laughs>